housekeeping solutions. Okay, an average guest room attendant daily services between 13 and 18 guest rooms. <coughs> guest room attendant annually cleans approximately 3,750 bathrooms, makes up 5,625 beds, and pushes his or her fully loaded housekeeping cart that weighs approximately 250 pounds over a distance of 16 miles. Okay, we, oh, the other thing is, performs over 100 cleaning tasks per room up to 18 times a day. So again, Standard Textile is always looking out for our customers, okay? We know how difficult the job is. So we have now went to the table and said, how can, you know, we've already brought in products that are room ready. We've already manufactured now products that last significantly longer than traditional products. So now how do we go out and save our customers labor costs, help the housekeepers get in, make the, make the beds more efficiently and faster and save time? So what we have now developed is what we call one step, okay? Absolutely, Rose, I'll get you whatever you want. Uh, one step stands for one solution to enhance productivity, okay? And you'll see on all of our engineer products, the Senium Core, the Room Ready symbol, and then the one step symbol as well, okay? One step is made up of several different steps, okay? And uh, the first step is Room Ready. Okay, standard textiles products arrive room ready for you so you don't have to wash them when they arrive. Uh, saves, uh, produces immediate cost savings, minimizes system disruptions, offers tremendous convenience, and obviously from the environmental standpoint, reduces your property from having to use chemicals, electricity, water. And you're probably saying, well, you guys have to do that. But the way we do it in our operation, um, with the treatments and everything we have, we use 58% electricity uh, and chemicals and water than you would uh, on-premise. So room ready, just to kind of give you a quick overview on cost savings on room ready, based on national average of 35 cents per pound. And keep in mind this is national, okay? So this is based in South Dakota, Miami, I mean basically all over the board. So today's national average is 35 cents. Um, king sheets based on, uh, Based on a weight of a king sheet is close to 37 pounds. Based on 35 cents, almost $13 you get to save by not having to, uh, to launder it. So you can see the savings on the sheeting. On the terry, it goes down the line too. 15 pounds is five and a quarter. Uh, so we'd like to point that out. So one step again is room ready. The next, part, the next process of uh, one step is easy ID. Okay, and what we do, bring a sheet up for you is we color code our sheets, okay? And you're probably saying everyone does that, which they do, it was done before I was even born. But bottom line is, is most companies out there, and it's not a bad thing, are color coding the hem end right here, okay? Standard textile will always just, you know, all is about looks and experience and enhancing the guest experience. So we thought, you know what, instead of having the guest walk in this beautiful room, this beautiful white bed, and having an orange or a pink or a brown thread right here that's noticeable, why don't we stick it on the salvage edge? So it might be hard to see here, but there's different color coding on the salvage end. It gets tucked under the bed so the guests don't see it when they walk into the room, okay? But operationally, you guys know it's there. Green is king, blue is queen, purple is full, and so on. And anything in our family of, of products, every color coding is exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about anything changing. So that's what Easy ID is. It's very helpful for operational, our operations. Uh, balance tens. The other thing we do is we put two inch hems on the top of our sheet and two inch hems on the bottom of our sheet. Okay, everyone has a hem. Most companies out there today are doing a two or a three at the bottom at the top, but then they're getting away and doing maybe a half or a one inch at the bottom because it saves a few cents of manufacturing. Um, Standard Textile says, you know what? Let's do two at the top and two at the bottom. So when the housekeepers, the guest room attendants, pull out this big heavy sheet, they don't know how to now look for that bigger hem and throw it at the top of the bed. It's just, it is what it is. It's a two inch either way, throw it down and be done with it, okay? So that's become extremely helpful. Got a lot of positive feedback for that. Um, center lock labels, this is a good one. Um, you know, a lot of hotels are using flat sheets. Some are, still, some are using fitted sheets. But either way, you have flat sheets on the bed, whether it's the bottom, the middle, or the top. Um, so what Standard Textile does is, you know, we've come in and evaluated and done our studies in the marketplace, and we've found that uh, 
you know, housekeepers are throwing this big sheet up on the bot on the on the mattress, and it's a big sheet. Some of these sheets are 114 inches by 125. It's a lot of fabric to be thrown out of the bed. They're throwing this big sheet out. They're walking around, drop, you know, tucking it down, going around two to three times, making sure it's all centered before they tuck it, so it's all you know balanced. Well, what we do now is we, or what we've been doing, is putting our tags dead center in the middle of our sheets. This is a 100 inch sheet, this is 50 inch on center. So housekeepers get this, they just throw this thing up, they eye it down in the middle, it's center, tucked up, they're done. Is that on all sizes? That's on every sheet we manufacture. It's called center lock labels, okay? So you'll find that everywhere from standard textile. So that's another step that we do. Um, the other part of the program is uh, innovative top covers. Uh, we know, you know a lot of people have switched over from duvet covers to, to moving forward to triple sheeting. Both great, great ways of making the bed. Um, we make innovative top covers that, you know, basically are a little heavier weight. They're more 4.2 ounce per square yard instead of the traditional 3.2, 3.5. And what it does is it gives you a more sturdier, more thicker, heavier quality fabric which resembles the duvet cover. So, you know, you can do get away with triple sheeting. A lot of the guests, the way you tuck it, don't know the difference, but it gives you that enhanced, you know, guest, guest satisfaction that you want. Um, we also, you know, a lot of our top sheets we make more polyester rich, where, you know, the common blend today is a 60 cotton, 40 poly. A lot of our top covers we make 60 poly, 40 cotton. And what that does, again, is reduces the amount of wrinkles. Um, it adds a significant amount of strength because the top sheet is what gets really the beating. With the kids jumping on it, the luggage getting thrown on it. So, you know, we, we look out and make innovative top covers as well. On the Terry side, we do easy ID as well. Um, you'll find uh, on the label, you know, a lot of people are putting 20 pound bath towels or bath sheets in their VIP suites, or using 20 pound all over. Everyone's constantly upgrading, which is a great thing. Um, so 20, 20 pounds are in the system uh, for VIP. Normally 17 pounds are usually found in most of the rooms. So what we've done is, you know, most of the time, some of these towels, you know, is, when you're busy and stuff, it's hard to determine which one's which. So as you see in the, as you see in the left corner, we now do an easy ID, very thin line stripe on the bottom of our tags that determines or distinguishes what size is what. So 20 pound would be gold, uh, 17 would be blue, 15 would be green, and so on, to, you know, all the way down to 12 pounds. So um, wash towels, standard textile, uh, we've switched over to all hemmed, uh, hemmed on all four ends, getting away from the round wash cloths because we were tired of all the whiskering that all the housekeepers had to constantly trim. And you know, it doesn't matter who it is. It's, it's you know, no matter who the manufacturer is, um, the round wash cloths are just, you know, tend to be a pain because they whisker. So. It's not necessarily a bad form of manufacturing, whatever, it's just common after a certain amount of washes and time for that stuff to just start popping through the, hem, the, the stitching. Uh, dimensionally stabilized dobbies, and this is basically out of the one step now, this is just going on to different items. We build out um, you know, our, our dobby borders. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, Marissa has gone and has got a towel for all of you, um, for, for you guys, so when you leave, uh, Marissa has boxes over here. We'll be handing out towels. Um, more of a 17 pounder. Good job on that, Marissa. Uh, but anyways, just to explain really quickly on the dimensionally uh, stabilized uh, dobbies. So you may have find it, you know, some towels. You'll find right here where it gets sunk in. We call it the hourglass. Well, in our products that we, we build out these, hem, these ends of our dobbies um, with reinforcement polyester, so you don't get that hourglass. It stays flush all the way down the line. So, you know, it is what it is, but sometimes, you know, nice property, just the customer looks and it's got the, the band and it's just kind of like an attack. So uh, that's what we do here. Braided selvages on our terry. Uh, we manufacture, uh, all of our terry comes in with braided selvages, which is basically the strongest edge you can get in the textile. Um, there's hem, hemmed ends too, but some hemmed ends start to unravel and come undone, you know? We call it the towels in perfect shape. However, the hems are starting to unravel, and unfortunately you'd have to get a seamstress to fix it and spend the money, which, you know, usually doesn't look that good after it's complete. Um, but we do uh, braided salvages, which is the strongest edge, which, which is really good. Um, 
A few of the you know recent, most recent innovative products uh, we have is versatility. I'm sorry, elevation towels. Basically, we're putting extra long uh, jacquard designs on the ends. We're targeting the weight of the towels in the center, which is very very nice because it's unique. It's not what your hotel next door has. Uh, it's reducing operational costs and it's uh, it just looks unique. So that's a great product. We won't get too much into it. Um, elevation uh, comforters, what we've recently come out with is a comforter that has, again, a targeted weight in the center of the comforter. Um, you guys are probably all used to the comforters out there, and it's, to me it's always been kind of shocking where, you know, every, every box within the comforter has a certain amount of fill in it, okay? Most of the companies out there are putting the same amount of fill in the far left corner one, in the far left three quarters and sides, that basically just drop along the side of your bed, okay? well. Kind of waste of fill in my you know my perspective but it is what it is so what we're doing now is we're targeting most of the weight in the center of the comforters okay so you're getting most of the weight in the middle and it's slowly tapering off it's kind of like a bell curve it's kind of slowly tapering off to the edges there's still some fill on the edges but not as much as in the center now we're making a different shaped center it's kind of what we call a railroad track which again kind of falls into one step it makes it easy for the housekeepers to throw this up because they know exactly where the center is because of the railroad traffic. Um, but as you see, it's you know if you haven't upgraded your beds in a while, you know beds could be flat. Some beds after a while kind of sink in, you know, and it goes in. So if you're not using a nice comforter or a nice blanket in there, your guests walk in and see this kind of droopy bed where it should be kind of puffy and have that wow factor. So what we do is we make the center tapered out fluffy, kind of tapered off to the beginning, which is also a great thing for triple sheeting because when you get to those end squares, there's not as much fill in there, so it tucks under the bed perfectly, so the bed's not lost sight. Okay, so this is another great product of ours. It's doing very well. Um, versatility fitted sheets. Uh, you know, again, we listen to our customers and we, we manufacture. Versatility fitted sheets is basically a a, uh, a fitted sheet, okay, this, the biggest downfall in fitted sheets is the elastic um, and the folding of the laundries, okay? So fitted sheets, you basically have elastic around the perimeter or on all four edges of the sheet. Um, and the bummer of fitted sheets is that the, the sheet will be in perfect shape, still be running strong. However, the uh, elasticity is worn out, so you really can't use the body. Okay, so you have to discard this perfect sheet. However, oh, and then the other on the on the laundry standpoint, or even on premise or commercial, the uh, the pain is that you have to, you know, it's it's really tough to fold a fitted sheet, and I think you guys all know that it's, it's challenging to make a nice fitted sheet, a folded fitted sheet without all the wrinkles. So basically, we have ma made and developed a fitted sheet without elastics, spandex, or latex. Um, so there's nothing there to wear out. It's made with senium core, so it's anywhere from 60 to 137% stronger than a traditional sheet. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, how in the world does it stick on the bed? Well, we have uh, a stretch characteristic in the center of the, um, the center of the sheet, okay? It goes in the work yarn from head to toe. And what I'll do is I'm gonna just let you, you would hold that. It's almost like a rubber band, if you will, okay? It has a, sorry. It has a stretch characteristic that will never wear out after however many washes you want, it will always stay there. So what the, what you do is you either put on the head the, the head corners or the, the side corners, and it basically pulls into place, pops it right into place, it's a clean fit. Um, so it's a product that outlasts any other fitted sheet, is able to be folded in the laundry, so. It's just that the bones, they slide in, and not, they don't have to lift up the mattress, huh? Yes, correct. Fitted sheets, you don't have to get under and tuck and lift that heavy mattress. This will fit anywhere from a four, uh, 12 to 16 inch mattress. So it's, yeah, it's very, it's a great product. We actually developed this in our healthcare uh, industry and it went over so well, <clears throat> excuse me, that we decided to bring it over and manufacture it in the hospitality industry in full queen and king size. So it's called versatility fitted sheet. Um, another one is the remarkable bath rug. Okay, what we've done is we manufactured. You know, a lot of hotels are using either a bath mat. Some hotels are upgrading and doing bath rugs to get a little more elegant look and feel. Um, 
problem with bath rugs um, that we have we've known forever is that you know is the sliding it's smooth it's sliding and it's it's you know it could be a hazard to your to your uh, to your guests. So they do have latex spray backings. The problem with the non-skid latex backing is that if you dry it one degree over 140, that latex starts to crack and melt, and the housekeepers are then picking up pieces of latex all throughout the hotel, which is really a headache. So what we have done is we have uh, brought out a new coating for the back, which is a non-skid backing that will not crack or melt in, temp in, the, in, the, in, the, heat, in the dryers, excuse me. So, this is a new non-skid back that won't crack or melt. You have no worries about the backing falling apart. So it's worth looking at if you have if you if your new bath rug. It's called the Remarkable Bath Rug. And also this rug comes in room ready for you as well. So there's no need to launder it when it arrives. Okay. So those are basically just some of the more recent innovative products that we do. Um, you know, as a, to sum up, uh, standard textile is. You know, a leader in the textile innovation design, as long as you know how, standard textile partners with customers in a meaningful way impact sleep, style, seduction, and spa. Uh, we are a vertically integrated and truly global player with key innovation, manufacturing, distribution, sales, and marketing resources worldwide. Uh, standard textiles developed a culture of quality and service and a deep commitment to the environment and corporate social responsibility. Sorry? Um, changes in pillow slips. There is, there is uh, a lot of. Too many pillows, yeah. The only change I, I can think of is that we are, um, you know, our, our pillowcases we make very generous in sizing, so it's not you don't have to sit there and you know pull one side, pull one side and get it in there. Basically, ours are very generous in size, so they kind of slip right in. Um, which I found is, you know, housekeepers like because they don't spend as much time trying to get pillows and pillowcases. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of trend of the inner flap of the uh, of uh, a pillowcase. So if you look into it, it doesn't show the pillow or the pillow protector. Uh, you look in, there's an, but an inner flap that basically hides the, uh, the cover of the pillow. But other than that, I'm not really familiar with anything, you know, besides a generous, uh, more generous cut and sizing to the inner flap. Um, that's it. I mean, if anyone has any questions, feel free to throw them up here. Yes, sir. What's the standard size of a pillowcase? 42 by 36. Standard size pillowcase? Uh, 20 by 30. 20 by 30. What? No, 20 by 26. I get confused. We do everything by cut size. Okay. So we do it before it's all folded over. So if I told you it was a 42 by 30, everyone would be like, what? So, but yeah, it's uh, so why, 22. Why, why is that though? Why, why do most of the uh, uh, suppliers uh, say it's a 42 by 36 or the industry standard, so to speak? But when you measure it, it's a 20 40, by 26 yeah, by 30. That's right. Honestly, I've asked that question for 10 years with this company. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's common. Some some manufacturers do it that way. Some don't. We do it that way. But I think a lot of uh, you know you have some other manufacturers in here. I think they're uh, you know it's. Probably just to confuse you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? If you want, send me an email. I can do a cross conversion for you. So it's cut size for finish size. Um, I but actually I, have I get asked the question, well, what's your pillowcase size? Is it 42 by, 30, 42 by 36 or right. you know, standard size? And, and what they're basically doing is <laughs> if they don't know any better, they're going to think, well, that's more like a square. Yeah. How is that a square when the pillows are right there? And what it is, is basically before they turn it over and hem the edge all the way across, it's basically, it would be 21 width. So if you open up that hem and you open it up, it's 42 wide. So they close it, it's 21. And then the, the, the length of it would be a 30. Some people include the hem, we do a three inch hem, so we add that in there. Some people will not do that because that's usually a decorative piece that kind of just hangs off the pillow. It's, it's, it's all over the board, but I feel your pain. I, I, uh, I've been in the same situation many times. But yeah, but seriously, don't hesitate to email me. I'd be more than happy to put a conversion together for you. Because the sheets are the proper size, right? The sheets are mostly cut size. Standard textile does cut size. So it's a 108 by 120. That's before we put the hems in. Okay. Our t it's a good point. Our towels, um, and I don't know who else does this, if they all do it or not, but our towels are all finished size. 
So if you order a 27 by 54, we're actually cutting it 28 and a half by 58 because then we put our hems in and then when you wash it two or three times, all that shrinkage comes into play and after it's completely shrunk down, it's a 27 by 54. So, you know, those are little things that you, you like to look at if you're bidding or specking is, you know, a lot of, you know, some people do 27 by 54 out of the box, with, you know, and then it's hand and shrunk it down to a 26 most people, by 52. Most people, they just like to know the weight. Right. On, on the towels. Right. And just so you all know that the towels are, uh, you know, are all weighed by the dozen. So if someone says, I use a 17 pound towel, it's 17 pound per 12, 12 towels. So you have a head okay. Head Where head sheet is, <laughs> sheeting is all by the each. If you ask me what a king size, our senium sheet is 2.62 ounces per sheet. So, you know, it's not, so it's different. A lot of people get confused, like this isn't 17 pounds. So I see it all day long, but just, yeah. you know, just so you know. Um, any other questions? Can you explain what you said wood ready? Mm -hmm. Exactly how you guys can include that it wants in the plastic pack that is sealed, how, how it's a good question. We actually do. It's no matter where we manufacture our products, whether it's in China, Israel, Pakistan, I mean one of our one of our manufacturing facilities, it's then all brought in to the US in our Union South Carolina plant, where we have our room ready finishing plant. It's a clean room environment goes through a special uh, room ready process. It's, it's a patented process. It's, it's you know, it's, I'm not going to bore you to death and go into the whole process of it. But basically, they, they, the sheets get out. The sheets are all washed and processed um, in, a, in a big, huge machinery equipment. It's all then cut and sewn in the clean room, dropped in the box, in an airtight uh, uh, poly shrink wrap box, taped up in the room, taped up with room ready tape, put on the truck and brought it. So all of our room ready is done in the U.S. So you don't have to worry about stuff coming over in the containers for six months, getting sweaty and humidity, and we don't do that. So it's all done here in the in the U.S. So um, it's all done and shipped over into one of our seven distribution centers. So it's, it's very neat. It's correct, correct. Our towels and sheets are ready for use out of the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? All right, well, don't forget to see Marissa on your way out and get a towel, and I appreciate all your guys' attention. Thank you very much.